Welcome to r slash choosing beggars, where Karen is looking for a multi-million dollar Hawaii beachfront home. My name is Blank, and I'm looking for a super amazing place, ideally by the 13th of January on the big island of Hawaii, where I have to be moved out of where I am now in North Hilo by the 13th, 2022. I'm looking for a private furnished rental. It has to be private, separate, not a shared unit, a house. It has to be a sanctuary, a temple space, etc. Unless I have highly, highly aligned brothers and sisters in the shared space, then we can talk. Ideally, it would be ground level, no duplex, no shared walls, etc. I want to be surrounded by nature in a comfortable temperature, depending on the area. No mold, completely private and very clean. It needs a bathtub and access to a pool, hot tub, or the ocean nearby. I also need a full kitchen. I need a space where I can sing and dance at any time, day or night, full volume with my Bluetooth speaker and not disturb anyone. Ideally, hashtag shaman, hashtag catharsis, hashtag healing myself, hashtag music ministry, hashtag praise and glory. I want to sing, pray, and sing my prayers. Otherwise, a generally very quiet and peaceful space is preferred for me. I need a very comfortable mattress for my body. I need to heal my nervous system with lots of light coming into the space, plus light and a fresh breeze coming in from all sides, ideally. A private lanai slash outdoor space is great. And for those who don't know, a lanai is like a special Hawaiian style outdoor porch. An outdoor space for occasional cannabis smoking is preferred, but not required. I mostly use cannabis oil. As... <laughs> As for the price, I need a place between $900 to $1,400 per month approximately, depending on the amenities and the space. This would be so many miracles in one dream come true. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. So be it. And if it is anything even close to this, or however my higher self, God, my inner child and Holy Spirit would be most comfortable, safe, inspired, and nourished, and in alignment with the highest will of heaven and God in all ways, I say yes, I say thank you, I accept and I receive, I say so be it, and so it is. I am so grateful, amen. I, d <laughs> I do agree with you, OP. Finding an apartment in Hawaii with ocean access, a pool, a hot tub that doesn't share any walls with a neighbor, that is far enough away from your neighbors that they can't hear you saying at the top of your lungs, and is only priced for about $1,400 per month, yes, that would be a miracle. I don't know what the rental cost for apartments is in Hawaii, but there's no way this is even close to accurate. Like $900 to $1,400 per day, maybe, at like an Airbnb, or per week, maybe. If I have any Hawaii listeners, can you please provide some context down in the comments to give us some perspective on just how insane this woman's request is? Because, like, I know literally nothing about the Hawaii real estate market, but I'm just guessing that if you had a single, like, family unit house that was close to the beach and had all those amenities listed, it would probably have to go for millions of dollars, right? So there's no way, there's no way someone would spend several million dollars on a house like that and then rent it for a thousand dollars a month. On this next post, the Choosing Beggar is a social media influencer and they contact OP, who's a songwriter. Hey bro, me and Blink are getting married next August 16th in Ibiza, and we love your personal songs. If you're free, do you fancy flying out? Hey mate, congrats! I am actually free, which is a miracle for next summer. Everything sounds good. Let me know what you're looking for and I'll fire over some prices. I'm offering 50% off until New Year's Day too. We want one of your songs written for us, and maybe an hour set too. But nah gee, we're not really paying the suppliers. We'll do promo posts, and what we charge for promo is worth way more than any track. I'd rather have the money, thanks though. If I really needed the promo, then how'd you find me? Bro, it's a wedding with boatloads of other influencers with big money there. Think of the reach! Ah, excellent. A wedding full of other people with lots of money that want me to do stuff for them for free promo. Sign me up, bro! Oh, I see. Back in the first post when he said, If you're free, do you fancy flying out? He didn't mean free as in available. He meant free as in actually free. Hey man. Yo. Hey, you got a PS4 for sale? 
Yeah, I do. How much? I was wondering if we could negotiate because I only need the console and the cords. 350 bucks. I just need the cords and the console. Then 300 bucks. How much storage? 500 gigabytes? That's kinda high. I just need a console and the cords. I have games and controllers. Give me an offer then. I had to sell my old PS4 to cover my surgery. And then I lost my job two days ago because of my surgery. So now I'm jobless looking for a console. I have 150 bucks right now for the console and cords. Sorry to hear that, but that's too low. 170? The lowest I'll go is 275. Dang, for 500 gigabytes? It's used too. Damn, I don't understand that. You can find someone else. That's a scam, seriously. Well, that's the price I'm going to sell it for. Good for you. It's not a scam. That's the price. Good scammer. What a scammer. Sure. No, seriously. It's not worth what you're selling it for. Then don't buy it. 500 gigabytes and used? Man, that's worth 180 bucks tops. And just for the cords and console. I understand if I'm getting games and controllers, but nah, you can't negotiate. You telling me your sob story and then expecting me to lower the price just for you is unreasonable. If the price is too high, then don't buy it. I'm not forcing you to buy it. Okay, it's cool. I reported you, don't worry. Just block me already, man, you effing B-word. Scammer, I banged your mom and your sister, lol. Suck my member, you B-word. <laughs> then just a lot of curse words and racial slurs, which I'm not going to repeat. <laughs> Down in the comments, P-Dub says, I would have replied that my mom... <laughs> I would have replied that my mom only screws dudes with jobs. Our next Reddit post is from Little Fox. A few years ago, a very close friend of both me and my husband was about to get married. My husband was the best man, and the groom wanted some big fancy bachelor party in Vegas, which is very far away and obviously expensive. My husband obliged and tried to make it a fun trip, even though money wasn't flush. We could afford some stuff, but dropping thousands of dollars on someone else's party was a bit excessive for us. At this point, it's worth mentioning that I'm a professional calligrapher. A few months before the wedding, the bride texts me and asks if I would letter all the chalkboard signs for the wedding. I have a firm policy that I do not work for free, but I'll often give sweetheart rates to my friends and family if I want, or I'll find another way to be helpful. I had even offered months before to do custom wax seals for their invitations, but they ended up getting sucky, cheap, plastic stick-on seals instead of taking me up on my offer. Not gonna lie, after this happened, I cackled like a gremlin when they arrived in the mail and were all kinds of chewed up and looked like garbage. Anyway, I responded to her saying that I'd be happy to do it and we could discuss my rates to figure out something that worked for their budget. I also suggested an alternative, offering to connect them with a calligrapher in the city with the understanding that I'd cover the costs, as a gift. My friend got all kinds of pissy with me, and I know the bride was pissed off as well, but in this case she wasn't the one talking to me. Basically, they took it as a personal insult that I said no. The groom then texted me, saying that he's disappointed I would do this, considering how much time and money he sunk into my wedding. To my knowledge, he bought a suit as a groomsman, helped my husband get ready, bought a gift, the usual stuff. As far as I know, he did not go above and beyond. He then tried to contact my husband and strong-arm him into pressuring me to do the work. My husband told me what was said and started applying soft pressure, not wanting to rock the boat or be caught in the middle. I was furious at this point, seeing that our friend clearly didn't respect my time or very basic boundaries. And I, unlike my husband, was more than happy to rock the boat. I stuck to my guns. My husband and I both explained to the groom that we were more than happy to pay for services for the wedding, lettering chalkboards, renting the getaway car, or something else. I just wouldn't do this one thing for free. This was a few years ago, and while they're still in our lives, this particular event has greatly soured my relationship with them. I've never truly forgiven their entitlement and tantrum at not getting their way. I mean, honestly, what's the point of asking a yes or no question when it's really just masking a demand? Posted to Facebook. My dippy daughter bought this cutlery set for us for Christmas. Apparently, our 20-year-old set doesn't make the grade anymore. Well, boo bloody who? It still works for us, so we don't need upgrading. We checked it out online, and apparently they cost about 80 bucks. 
I could have bought a bloody good fishing rod combo for that, complete with hooks and sinkers. Or at least some after fishing refreshment, come to think of it, the Flane Grog wins. I have no idea what that means. Is that a fishing thing? The Flane Grog wins? I don't know, dude. Statistics. It's a bloody awesome wooden box adorned with a square gold leaf pattern covering the entire case and lined with black velvet. Apparently, it's a rainbow set, whatever the hell that means. As an afterthought, it would make a bloody great wedding present for my daughter. Karma rules, bugger. I forgot she ain't hitched yet. Oh well, I suppose it was just wishful thinking. Local pickup only, no time wasters please. If you want to sell a gift that your daughter gave you, fine, okay, whatever. But why do you have to publicly roast her on Facebook, embarrassing her in front of all these strangers? I'm looking for several budding graffiti artists to paint my motorhome. No payment will be offered for this because most graffiti artists do it for free on whatever they want to. I'm offering a clean space to do what you want within reason. No tag names, no gang insignia, no nudity. The bus is predominantly white, so who wants a chance to do something good? My dating profile, I'm an admin assistant. About me. I'm looking for a man. If you possess any of the qualities that I've listed, please keep it moving. I promise that I'm nice, just a little traumatized. Under six foot zero. Wears man flip flops. Has a crazy ex. Racist. Is a mama's boy. Has no goals. Has a beer belly. Has dirty nails. Has pierced nipples. Cats. Felonies. Kids. Hairy chest. Hairy back. Balding. Unemployment. Or laziness. I'm a Sagittarius. Yo, what's wrong with man flip flops? I almost actually qualify for this list, except for the fact that, you know, I'm married and I have a kid. So I guess the no kids thing kind of disqualifies me. But past that, the only thing that I don't qualify, <laughs> that I don't qualify for is wears man flip flops. Damn, I was so close. But like for real, guys, guys have to wear shoes and socks in, in the summer when they go to the beach. They have to wear shoes and socks. Why? Why can't we wear flip flops in the summer? What's wrong with that? <sighs> if I had to choose between flip-flops or a girl like her, I, I guess I'd stick with my flip-flops. Thanks for getting in contact, and I'm glad to hear that you're interested in helping us as a fan of our shop. To give a breakdown of what we'll need, we're currently redesigning our website and therefore require the following. 4K quality shots of our individual products. This will be a still frame and all shots will be taken from the same angle. 4K quality shots of our shop in general. So these pictures can be from the outside as well as, more importantly, inside the shop. Snapshots of the staff working and production of our bagels, bread, and cakes that we make. Along with this, there can be some videography involved if you feel inspired, but predominantly our focus is on the photography. This will need to be done over a couple of days. We've had a lot of interest from others too, and we aren't looking to pay anyone for this because we're happy for them to add this to their showreel and website as compensation. Of course, we'll provide you with food and drinks during the day and some goodies to take home as a further treat. If this is still of interest to you, please, before we speak over the phone, send me a photo of a food item of your choosing, preferably a bakery item so I can get a closer feel of the quality of your camera work. I can see from your website that you've got a nice touch when it comes to food products, which is great, and I'm sure you can come up with some creative ideas to help us further. I look forward to hearing from you and hearing your thoughts. Yeah, I don't work for free. Or for a few bagels, as much as I do enjoy yours. It's honestly pretty gross that you're expecting someone to provide you with two days of work in exchange for maybe 30 pounds worth of bagels. And the sad reality is that someone will probably see this as a good opportunity. It's a hard no from me. Man, I've seen a lot of posts where people are like, hey, come do this work for free and we'll pay you an exposure. But, <laughs> but these people aren't even willing to pay an exposure because they expect the artist to use the work product to expose themselves. Like they're not even trying to, you know, post on their own Instagram or YouTube or social media platforms to try to promote this guy's work for them. So it's less than exposure. It's literally just, <laughs> what, two days of work for a dozen bagels? I'm looking for freelance book editors who aren't afraid to get their hands dirty. After looking for editors, I've already been rejected by people calling me problematic, insensitive, transphobic, and inappropriate in the social climate. 
I don't have the budget yet, but I'm trying to find someone willing to take a chance on me. I believe in this novel. Also, please don't recommend those freelance artist sites. Most of them carry imposing copyright laws where I'd be signing myself over to the devil. I plan on self-publishing this. I'm just hoping that some of my English undergrad friends will see this, and I feel terrible that I can't remember your names. Dude, I think the free part in Freelancer doesn't mean what you think it means. Also, how telling is it that this guy literally can't pay people to read his book? Because it's insensitive and transphobic and whatever else. But he, <laughs> but he believes in this novel? That was r slash choosing beggars, and if you like this content, check out my podcast where I publish the exact same episodes. Also, hit that subscribe button because I put out new Reddit videos every single day.